when a certain lawyer by the name in Nauru, based in Abuja, Nigeria, when he first of all Sopina, Chicago State University last year and Tinubu's CSU credentials, you know, was you know um, given to him, and the Nauru, you know, brought it to public notice. A lot of Nigerians, many of us knew that the certificate Tinubu Pablo Escobar submitted to ANEC was was forged, wasn't original, based on what in Nauru, what was given to Nauru by Chicago State University. That was the first time we all knew Tinubu forged the certificate. Now, the second time it had just been confirmed. Now, remember, the Chicago State University has already written. And they said that uh, the main Tinubu, Pablo Escobar, was actually admitted to their school. They agreed, they, 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 they uh, how would I put it, they attest to that. However, this has not been the bone of contention of Atiku. Whether Tinubu attend Chicago State University or not is not the bone of contention of Atiku. What has been the bone of contention of Atiku? The bone of contention is this. Tinubu for certificate. He has been very, very consistent with this. So what happened? In the deposition today at court, where uh, Atiku's lawyers asked Chicago State University representative on oath, on oath, they asked them, they, 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 they say it was on oath right there at court. They asked, the, the point was that this certificate, because the certificate they released to Atiku, right, guys, now it is far far different from what at uh, Tinubu submitted to ANEC. The difference is massive, the difference is huge. All right, so now what happened? Um, Tinubu's uh, articles lawyer they asked Chicago State uh, representative, <coughs> they were asked at court today. Although the full uh, the full deposition, the full uh, uh, the full gist is not at, you understand? The the full transcript is not at, but we we, we have access to few things. Now when they were asked that the certificate Tinubu submitted to IDEC, are you guys aware of this certificate? Was it is it issue from you guys? Does this originate from you guys? They said they are not aware, they don't know. So they said they are not aware of that certificate, Tinubu gave to ADEC. They said they are not aware that certificate wasn't given to, to Tinubu by them. The question is, that is begging for answer, is this. This is the second time first that it has been confirmed now. Because the maker, this all article is looking at which he has got it. The maker of the certificate which he claimed, Chicago State University, which Tinubu claimed, that Chicago State University that gave to him, right? That the maker of it, they have just denied now that they don't know about that certificate. Now the question me I'm asking as a layman is this. If Tinubu truly attempt, because we have taken it beyond what article articles fight now. If truly he attended the school and the rest, why therefore the certificate? Okay, whether he attended the school or not, it's not my, it's not my business. Article has been emphasized and we have been saying that Tinubu first certificate, first certificate. Even when the other guy came and uh, uh, submitted uh, an affidavit at court, you know, in US, that he attended school with Tinubu. Everybody, I said it. Everyone will be saying it. This is not the fact. Article is fighting. Whether he attended the school or not, he doesn't care. He's not disputing the fact. But you want to prove is that that certificate submitted to Ade was false. It has been confirmed. Now, please, I just came across uh, something on People's Gazette. I almost forgot. I think I would like to just read a part of it to us, all right, from the National Daily. Let it not look as if, uh, let it not look as if I'm making it up, all right? Yeah. Let, not, let it not look as if I'm making it up. So, please, uh, follow me now as we go to People's Gazette, okay, and read this together. Please, I beg you, ensure you share this video, all right? According to People's Gazette, Supreme Court, net netizens want Tinubu sacked, jade over false Chicago State University certificate. Following the revelation that the Chicago State University certificate that President Bola Tinubu presented to the Independent National Electoral Commission was forged, many have charged the Supreme Court of Nigeria to sack and jade Mr. Tinubu. 
prolonged legal tussle on Mr. Tinubu's controversial academy record reached a crescendo after Chicago State University in a deposition on Tuesday revealed that it did not issue the certificate Mr. Tinubu presented to Nigeria electoral body. Kayla Westbeck, the Chicago State University Registrar, said Mr. Tinubu's certificate dated June 22, 1979 and tendered to INEC on June 17, 2022 was not issued by the school and his administrators could therefore not be able to authenticate his source. Chicago State University deposition has sparked reaction among social media users with many calling for Mr. Tinubu Oxter, Mr. Tinubu's Oster in line with the Nigeria Constitution, Section 137, uh, in bracket 1, and 1 of the Nigeria Constitution, amended in 2010, specifically stated that no one would be legitimately elected, present, elected president of Nigeria if the person has presented a false certificate to the Independent National Electoral Commission, citing the Nigeria Constitution, a lawyer, Abdul Mahmoud, on Adu Mahmoud on S said the Chicago State University deposition has finally shown that the certificate dated June 22, 1979, but submitted to IDEC on June 17, 2022, was not issued by the university. With Tinubu having submitted a false certificate to IDEC, a, a spacious part of the bad certificate uh, conundrum will now be addressed by the Supreme Court and with specific regard. To section 137 in bracket 1 and 1 of Constitution 1999, 137 bracket 1, a person shall not be qualified for election to the office of president if 1. He presented a false certificate to the Independent National Electoral Commission. X. User First Lady Ship said, Bola Hamed Tinubu and Kashim Shetima must be disqualified by the Supreme Court on the ground of certificate forgery. The 1999 Constitution is clear on what must happen. I call on fellow Nigerians to join me in calling for their disqualification. Certificate forgery is still a crime in Nigeria. Another next thing, the favored woman said, added that Section 4, 63 of the Criminal Code stipulates a three-year imprisonment sentence for forgery, while Section 362 to 364 of the Penal Code address forgery offenses with penalty reaching up to 14 years of imprisonment. At Bogadema said, if Tinubu is not removed by the Supreme Court, he will be forced out by the people. Nigerians are fed up with him and his entire gang. At J.P. General urge that the Nigeria Supreme Court must stand up and save the nation from this embarrassment. It is time for the Apex Court to prove to move away from technicalities and start delivering practical judgment on merit. Nigeria cannot have a liar, drug dealer, certificate forger, etc. as a member as a number one citizen, Mr. Tinubu was declared the winner of the February 25 presidential election on March 1st, but several controversies have dodged the emergence, including allegations of forgery and perjury. On September 6, the presidential election petition tribunal threw out all petitions by Tiku People's Democratic Party 2023 presidential candidate and Peter Obi of the Labour Party, affirming Mr. Tinubu's victory. This development saw the dual approach the Supreme Court to appeal the case. Before tribunal judgment, Mr. Tiku had in August requested court approval to subpoena Mr. Tinubu files domicile with CSU because he believed the document would clarify glaring inconsistencies in Mr. Tilbu's background, including publicly available document that suggested the CSU in the nineteen seventies admitted a female student, Bierry Bola Tilubu, who was born on March 29, 1954, in a pushback against Mr. Atiku's legal move, which could uh, uh, expose his academic record. Mr. Tinubu had also filed a motion to prevent a federal court in the United States from releasing his university academic record to Mr. Abubakar, his principal, <coughs> his principal opponent in the 2023 presidential election. Mr. Tinubu argued that the releasing that Releasing his complete academic record could cause him irreparable damage, but the court granted Mr. Tiku's request, compelling CSU to release Mr. Tinubu's academic record, followed by 
Tuesday's deposition that revealed Mr. Tinubu forged the CSU certificate he presented to the IDEC. If Mr. Tinubu is sacked, he would be the first Nigeria president <coughs> to be sacked by the Supreme Court. Guys, I hope you get the gist. This is a shame, this is a slap, this is said that the number one citizen, number one citizen of a country, a president, want to govern and rule the people with a false certificate. Nobody forced him to submit the certificate. If he has told they didn't go to school, they have applauded him. At least God has helped him to rise. That's why if I didn't go to school. But you not only did he, he, he not only did he, he said he went to school, he came out his day, but yet he forced certificate. Chicago State University are just proving it. So what is the Supreme Court waiting for? All that that donors who are talking rubbish, I dare you to come here now. I just read from uh, people's garden. This is what I'm making up. This is what Chicago State University told court in America uh, yesterday. They told uh, uh, in court, so nobody is making it up here. Tinubu is a certificate forger. He forged it, so it must be sacked. It must be removed. Everybody, I beg you, like this video and make sure you share it. God bless. I will see you.